Are you a filmmaker? Producer? Director? My vision, my ideology into motion picture. Actor? Screenplay writer? Are you an aspiring filmmaker? Looking to start a career in the movie industry? Do you want to see what happens behind the scenes when you're looking at those movies in your local cinema? Take 101 will take you on a journey of the filmmaking process from concept to reality, from idea to motion picture. Take 101 will bring you, the industry professionals, and take you through the A to Z of the filmmaking process. Lucille Morgan on Take 101. Are you looking to produce documentaries, adverts, trailers, jingles, promos? Benelex Media will take care of your production line. Contact Benelex Media on 0207 998 0930. That's 0207 998 0930. Or we can be viewed on the website at www benelexmedia.com. You can email us at studio at benelexmedia.com. And bear in mind, you can follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and YouTube on Benelex Media. Welcome to Take 101. On today's show, if we look at the second part on tips and techniques on how to manage your film distribution. As a first time filmmaker or a prospective filmmaker and you're thinking about producing or directing or doing a production, you need to think about return of investment, that's return of capital. And that's where you think about distribution. But before you think about distribution here, brother, sister, you have to think about the story itself. Because if the story is not right, nobody's going to get it. And forget, look beyond the box. Not about the people who have been there before. Like take, for example, if you're in Nigeria and you have the set people who distribute, who are in a spe a spe a specified areas like the Idumotas, the Iwekas in Onitsha, or the Alaba market where our films are distributed. These are my brothers who were ordinary businessmen before and they came together and started funding movies. Therefore, it will be difficult for you to break into them, not because they are wicked, but because they are businessmen. They need to protect their territory. You as an actor or you as an external investor coming into them, it might be very difficult, tell you the truth. Therefore, you now have to start thinking about what is the alternative to your distribution. First and foremost is that some of the sales agents that you meet will want to tell you that. Yeah. Nobody would say to you you're doing well except yourself. So you need to, you need to first and foremost, foremost look at that man in the mirror and say to that man, you're doing well or you're doing bad. You're the first judge to yourself and you are the only person that can stop yourself. So the first problem you're going to face with these people is that they're, they're going to look at your program and say, what is this? With a face so straight and what, what what's was that is this why you called for the meeting i can't believe you wasted all my time to sit down here to wait for you for us to come and talk about this look at the pictures they are all shaking look at the colors what, what kind of camera did you even use in the first place is this a beta max or a vhs are, are, are you sure you're present are you are, are you're up to date with what is uh, happening in the industry today all that is going to come to you my brother but don't take it as a killer take it as a learning process
It's not an e it, there's no easy option to self-distribution. That's what I'd like to say. You really have to give it all the thought before you how you're going to market it, how you're going to promote it. Because putting it on somewhere and expect come people to find your movie is very, very complicated. Are you a filmmaker, producer, director? I vision my ideology into motion picture. Actor, screenplay writer, are you an aspiring filmmaker looking to start a career in the movie industry? Do you want to see what happens behind the scenes when you're looking at those movies in your local cinema? Take 101 will take you on a journey of the filmmaking process from concept to reality, from idea to motion picture. Take 101 will bring you, the industry professionals, and take you through the A to Z of the filmmaking process. Lucien Morgan on Take 101. You finished your film, your trailer is out, and everybody's wondering where's that invite to the private screening or premiere of your movie. The marketing promotion for your film, basically, that's why I say a sales agent is really important. They know everybody. They can talk to people and get do that for you. Because if you ring up a newspaper in an independent film, they're generally not very interested. I and mean, we were quite fortunate because we had people like Ian Wright in it. So there was a an interest from a football point of view. Uh, the Harleys, Harley Davidson helped promote it originally because of the product and bite. So those sort of things, we had a little bit of an inroad. So a lot of newspapers wrote articles on it and, and mentioned it and things. But apart from that, it, they're not interested generally. Just look at a few points that you should consider when you're seeking to gain help in marketing and promotion. The first thing you should look at is making sure that your film is already set up to be able to be in a marketing position. So we look at, is your film on IMDb? Has it been listed on IMDb? That's the first thing. Is your film on a website of some sort or have you designed a website for the film? Is your film on Facebook or does it have a Facebook page? Does your film have a Twitter page? It's all these things. When, when you've now got a list to say, yes, everything is done, you then reach out immediately to the crew and the cast. They're, the fir they're your first point of contact in terms of getting help to, you know, to market it, to promote it. Because when someone has acted in a film, or if someone was the cameraman in a film, they're more happy to market it than the next guy because they were part of the project, so they want to see it go up as much as you want to. Well, first and foremost is that I think it starts from what, where we talked about before, your story. Yes. Your story and your content. If you do the story right and your production is crystal clear, Brother, even me, when I see the pirated copy, I want to go look for the original copy. That is to say that there is nothing you do that they will not be pirates. They will pirate your jobs. Yes, it will be pirated, so don't get it wrong. Let nobody deceive you that your jobs can never be pirated. Get all the whatever you can get, all the, um, what's it called, um, all the software gadgets you can put on your content. The way I have found out the way what the way the world the way the world works now is the same man who's sitting down and producing a software, another man is sitting down to produce um, what's it called a virus. I never knew that people's business is producing virus and they launch it into the air. And what do they do that they want to launch it into the to hack to destroy people's content so that you come back to them to get an antivirus? And the man who's providing antivirus is different from the man who's producing virus itself so therefore you have to do your story right if you do your story right somebody will see the original and will see the fake and will prefer the original are you
you a filmmaker, producer, director? My vision, my ideology into motion picture. Actor, screenplay writer, are you an aspiring filmmaker? Looking to start a career in the movie industry? Do you want to see what happens behind the scenes when you're looking at those movies in your local cinema? Take 101 will take you on a journey of the filmmaking process from concept to reality, from idea to motion picture. Take 101 will bring you, the industry professionals, and take you through the A to Z of the filmmaking process. Lucien Morgan on Take 101. Um, depends once again that's for sales agents distributors to do but if you do it online in these sites at least it can go worldwide and you can just you've got total control over what happens with your movie that way it, it, obviously if you start going worldwide you always have to think about languages so many countries obviously don't speak English so if you want to have a bigger audience you need to think about subtitling which we did we subtitled the language the, the movie in Turkish Russian Italian German Romanian uh, to name a few languages so that gave us more scope like somebody in Russia and Ukraine has, has watched our movie that he wouldn't have watched it if it had been in English. So you have to think of languages and if you want to go worldwide, you seriously have to think about why would people watch it or at least they could see it in the language. Okay, uh, film festival is a great events where people get together to show their wonderful, marvellous works. Now, film festivals serve a variety of purposes. Film festivals are not only a social networking event. Film festivals are actually an event where you, as a budding filmmaker, can go out there to learn a thing or two from other films. As most film festivals not only run courses and workshops, but they also run active critics on, on a film. So a film will be screened and after the film is screened, an auditorium full of people will then say, I didn't like this, I didn't like that. And some will say, I like this, I like that. So as a budding filmmaker, if you go to a film festival, you can actually learn a lot about filming techniques, camera techniques, and then as well as that, meet like-minded individuals. Now, another purpose that a film festival serves is the fact that you can screen your film to the general public and you can also film your screen to members of the film industry, professionals in the industry. Now, this is important if you're seeking to turn your short film into a feature film or if you're seeking funding for a project and you screen another project at a festival, you can then approach distributors who are present or financiers who are present and say, are they interested to come on board for the project? And another purpose that film festivals serve is being able to award people that have done a job well done, which I think is amazing. When you've gone through all that toil and sweat, made an amazing film, and then bam, it just hits you. Congratulations, we've decided to give you an award. So it is a good event, the festival, in essence, because it provides a lot of upscaling for filmmakers, but it also provides you with that confidence and the positive mind to keep going and make bigger things.
I don't think, um, maybe my faith is the problem that I have. And if it's a problem, I think I like it. I never regret. I learn from my mistakes. Okay. So my advice to you who is prospecting, my advice for you who has already done a product, who is carrying it around is don't regret about anything. Just learn from your mistakes and that way you improve. That's it. The advice that I will give to upcoming producers, directors, are things that we have basically talked about here. First and foremost is discover yourself. Know who you are. Like the Bible says, who are thou? Know who you are first. And it's only when you have an understanding about yourself that you can be able to package yourself and sell to the world. And let you know too that your product is yourself. Your product will go out there and speak for you. My product will go out and speak for me, Uchi or Doctor. All these mounts that I've been making here, claiming that I know this, I know that. It's my product that will be able to say, this is Uchi or Doctor. And that product itself will sell myself while it's selling itself. And therefore, when I come out tomorrow, I'll get an ovation and I'll get a red carpet reception. That's my advice for you, brother. Sister, peace. Now, as you may already know, making a movie is not rocket science. All it takes is courage and enthusiasm. Join us again on Take 101 to get to the A to Z of filmmaking. Are you a filmmaker, producer, director? My vision, my ideology into motion picture. Actor, screenplay writer? Are you an aspiring filmmaker? Looking to start a career in the movie industry? Do you want to see what happens behind the scenes when you're looking at those movies in your local cinema? Take 101 will take you on a journey of the filmmaking process from concept to reality, from idea to motion picture. Take 101 will bring you, the industry professionals, and take you through the A to Z of the filmmaking process. Lucien Morgan on Take 101.